everyone here is family. Um, our teachers, our board, volunteers for making this possible. Look at this, like it's just, it blows me away. And so with all this going on, how can we not thank God for this moment? How can we not? You know, as a first year school, this brought so many people together. Uh, nobody a year ago has even heard of SFA, let alone Dover. Many of you probably never heard of Dover. <laughs> and faith brought us here. A lot of you believed in us when we were having school at a recreation center in Plant City. We were in a rec center for those, those of you that don't know. Also, some of you were here, the OGs, what I call you, the SFA, when we used to have classrooms in this barn. Not only did we have classes in this barn, some of you were here while we were doing workouts in this barn, and this barn was wide open. Now look at it. To narrow it down even further, some of you know this, many of you don't, but today all of you will know. When we left the recreation center, our backs were against the wall. This is probably one of the hardest times I've ever had. I got a call one day and we had seven days to find a new building. Seven days. I was sick to my stomach. Very few of you know about this. We didn't have a school. We weren't homeless, but we were schoolers. And I had this thought in my mind, like how am I gonna tell all of these kids that we don't have a building, that we don't have a school? How am I gonna tell these teachers that we don't have any, that I failed you? I was taking the blame that I was going to fail you. I cried, I wept, I didn't know what to do. It was the hardest thing I've ever felt. I was sick to my stomach. I had teachers quit their job to come over here. And now, a few days after school started, we don't have school. So I prayed, what could I do? And so, obviously I have a lot of faith, but faith without works is dead. So I made every phone call I could make. Everybody I knew, I was calling constantly, I was on Zillow. I couldn't bear that feeling. It was the worst feeling I ever truly had. And let you guys know that we don't have a school building. This is a week after school started. But as a leader, you gotta stay calm and composed. And that's what I had to do. And I worked the tail off. And one day I'm driving down Dover, and I'm, I'm literally in the middle of prayer. And I pass this building, and I see a church. It looks like Savannah. And I Google the church. It was, wasn't even listed on the market. I find them on Facebook. And I call the church, oh, hey, can we get in there? I would love to rent your building. And they're like, we'll meet with you sometime soon. I'm like, no, I need to meet with you now. And we ended up meeting the next day. A few days later, we're in the building renting the building. And a lot of details that went into that won't go to there. But now today, we own that building. Amen. We own it. First year of school, our football team went to the state championship. We took over four. Yeah, we took over forty kids out of state, so not just one game, but two games. There were over 20 kids that have never left the city of St. Peter, Tampa, that got on that airplane. They've never been on an airplane. You talk about an experience, that was definitely one. And we flowed spirits, so it was a real good experience. <laughs> do what you love. Take risks. Do what you're passionate about. You guys, seriously, our graduating class, do what you love. You have a blessing. God has blessed you with a talent. And you can do really good things with that talent, or the worst thing you can do is let that go to waste. Take those risks. I stand right now in front of a room full of future doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, hopefully professional athletes as well, coaches, nurses. That is who we're looking at. Future politicians, someone that's gonna take care of us, this group right here. But sometimes doing just what you're passionate enough, passionate about, isn't enough. You, I talked about it earlier, faith without work is dead. You have to be disciplined. You have to have a routine. Something you can start by doing every day, just being on time. Just being on time will get you somewhere. And it's simple, start that now. What you say you're gonna do, do it. What you commit to, commit. And all of you have done that. You committed to the season, you finished it. You committed to the school, you finished it. Now stick with that, because that's gonna carry over and long term.
turn in life. Say what you're gonna do and do it.